what is up everybody it is jt sports i'm back to you guys with some breaking news so the pittsburgh steelers this afternoon have shocked the nfl world by releasing six-time pro bowler and two-time all pro officer guard dev de castro now i want to explain the reason why the steelers made this move to release one of the best officer guards of the past decade now dev de castro has been having ankle injuries and it's gotten to the point that he has considered retirement. Now, I saw the rumor about David DeCastro considering retirement last week, but I didn't make a video on it because I thought it was just rumors and it wasn't really no truth to it. But then a couple of days after that, the Steelers were poorly brought in Trey Turner for a visit. Then that kind of, you know, upped my speculation. Then next week comes around today. The Steelers announced the news that they have released David DeCastro. Now, they're actually doing David DeCastro a service by releasing him because by releasing him, this allows him to get injury pay, get compensated for his injury this upcoming season. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to name out your favorite team that you want David DeCastro to sign to, but if I'm being realistic, I think he most likely is going to retire because if he wasn't going to retire, then I don't think there would be any reason for the Pittsburgh Steelers releasing him, especially where the off the line is already a big concern for Pittsburgh heading into this year. So now you look at the off the line for Pittsburgh and your best off the lineman right now is Kevin Dotson, who was one of the best rookies in the NFL last year when it came to offensive linemen. Now, Trey Turner is most likely going to be the guy who's going to be brought in to replace David DeCastro. And I think this is a pretty solid replacement. David DeCastro has been one of the best off the guards of this past decade. But Trey Turner is no slouch. Neither he has been a five-time Pro Bowler. As a matter of fact, prior to last year, he made it to the Pro Bowl for five straight years in a row. Last year, he had injuries that signed lined him for the majority of last year with the Chargers. He's not a free agent. I most likely expect the Steelers to bring him in as they did have him in the building last week, which now it makes sense why they had him in on the visit. And everybody's trying to figure out, okay, why would the Steelers bring in Trey Turner for a visit when you already have David DeCastro and Kevin Dotson there? What now it makes sense? It seems like David DeCastro is going to retire. He's 31 years old. He's been one of the best officer guards in the game for this past decade. And as a Steelers fan, it really sucks to see him go. And like I mentioned earlier, everybody's going to drop their favorite team down in the comment section down below. But if we're being realistic, I think David DeCastro is pretty much going to hang it up. Now, some of you guys can be like, oh, JT, man, we're going to make him play, man. Like, listen, I think if his ankle injury is... To the point that, you know, he's considering retirement. I think that there's not really a big chance of him playing this year. Unless he chooses to sit out this season, try to get healthy, and then try to take a stab back at the football field next year in 2022. But ultimately, I expect David DeCastro to hang it up. Because I don't think the Steelers would have released him if they didn't understand the current situation that was going on and it's reported that the Steelers actually were you know being reached out to by David Castro about his you know decision what's going on with his ankle and whatnot so for David Castro he has been one of the best Steelers of this past decade it definitely sucks to see him go but by releasing him the Steelers save 8.75 million dollars in cap space so I expect the Steelers to go out there and sign Trey Turner that's my speculation and I think that David DeCastro most likely is going to hang it up and it's really sad to see it man because he is one of the best off the guards in the NFL when he was on the field he was coming off his sixth straight consecutive year when he made it to the Pro Bowl former two-time All-Pro he's been nothing but a class act on the field and off the field and injuries have kind of you know slowed him down a little bit injuries on play the factor into his performance last year he still was pretty good but not the David DeCastro we're accustomed to seeing and some people could make the argument to say that he got outplayed by Kevin Dotson last year who was a rookie so 
I expect him to retire. I don't think he's going to sign for another team. You guys let me know how you guys feel about this whole entire situation. How do you guys feel about David DeCastro retiring? And do you guys think that Trey Turner is going to be a good replacement? Trey Turner's no slouch also. He also has been one of the better offensive guards in the NFL over the last couple of years. He is a five-time Pro Bowler. Prior to 2020 last season, he made it to the Pro Bowl for five straight years in a row. So Trey Turner can play. And also on top of that, he's a couple of years younger than David Ca- than, than David DeCastro. David DeCastro is currently 31 years old, going on 32. And Trey Turner is 27 years old, going on 28 years old. So despite the fact that you lose David DeCastro, if you bring in Trey Turner, you do get a couple of years younger there. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. Make sure that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and NFL content. And thanks for watching.